Experiencing connectivity issues with your Sonoff Wi-Fi smart wall switch? Resetting it can often resolve these problems and get your device back online. You might need to reset your Sonoff switch to connect to a new Wi-Fi network or troubleshoot persistent connection problems. Common reasons to reset include Wi-Fi connectivity issues, connecting to a new network, or troubleshooting persistent problems. To perform a factory reset, follow these simple steps. First, locate the configuration button on your switch. Long press the configuration button and hold it for about five seconds. Keep holding until you see the LED indicator change its pattern. Watch the Wi-Fi LED indicator carefully. It should start cycling through a specific pattern, two short flashes followed by one long flash. Once you see this LED pattern, release the button. Your switch is now in quick pairing mode and ready for reconnection to your Wi-Fi network. When quick pairing fails, you can use compatible pairing mode as an alternative connection method. This involves a specific two-step button sequence. First, long press the pairing button for five seconds until the Wi-Fi LED indicator changes to a cycle of two short flashes and one long flash, then release. Next, long press the button again for another five seconds until the Wi-Fi LED flashes quickly. This indicates the device is now in compatible pairing mode. In the eWe Link app, select compatible pairing mode and follow the prompts to complete the connection process. Understanding LED indicator patterns helps diagnose connection issues. Different flashing patterns indicate specific problems that need to be addressed. Common causes of connection failure include incorrect Wi-Fi passwords, being too far from the router, wireless interference, or MAC address filtering on your network. Sonoff switches typically only support 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. Make sure you're not trying to connect to a 5 GHz network, as this is a common source of connection problems. Power cycling the switch can resolve many connection issues. Simply turn off the power to the switch, wait a few seconds, then turn it back on. This simple step often fixes temporary glitches.